With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Jeff Roberts. There's only one unbeaten girls basketball team in the state and they reside in the geological center of North America. The Panthers had one of their toughest tests of the year today, hosting number eight, Shiloh Christian. Skyhawks going in at 12 and two on the year. Panthers without the leading score today, but it didn't matter to Joey Wolf. Spin move and the basket. Rugby started hot, like you'd expect from the number one team. Still in the first quarter, Skyhawk sophomore Paige Shot tags Dedra Wood in the corner for three. It puts the Skyhawks ahead just before the half. Elise Fonstock finds a wide open Joran Junt at the point uh, at the point to cut the Skyhawks lead to five into the locker room. But in the second half, Shiloh Christian never trailed. Fourth quarter, Hannah Weston to Paige Shock all alone for the tray ball and check this out. Number eight, the number eight team beats number one and there are no unbeaten girls teams left in the state. Watford City is down in the capital city for a two game road trip. They lost at Century last night and this afternoon they went south to BHS. The Demons are looking to get back in the win column losers of three straight. Both teams needing a win. Only one will get it. Demons with an early lead over the Wolves. Andre Austin to Quinn Hafner in the corner. He knocks down that three. Demons led it 17 to eight. Wolves really struggling against the Demons press. Janim Samuel connects with Colton Ewing in the post. He'll lay it in off the glass, but the Demons, they are still holding strong with a 22 point lead. Demons keeping their foot on the gas. Adam uh, LaFontaine gets it back from Jenner Smood. He'll hit the shot from beyond the arc. Demons ahead by 30 now. BHS puts up triple digits and gets back in the win column. In the girls game, Demons looking for their ninth win of the year. Second half, Demons have a big lead on the Wolves. Peyton Neumiller fires to Allie Gullison in the post. She'll drive off the glass 40 to 24 BHS. Wolves with it now. Jessica Mogan will drive to the cup. She goes up strong through the contact plus the foul. She completes the three point play. Demons still cooking. Morgan Johnson Colbert will knock down the corner three here. This gives Bismarck a 19 point lead. They would roll the rest of the way winning 77 to 39. Other basketball in Bismarck up at the Olsen gym was Williston and Century. Century wasted no time opening this one up. Already up 10. Ryan Erickson gets a good look from the top and drains it. This capped off a 13-0 run to start the ball game. Williston would start their scoring shortly after. On an inbound to on uh, Austin Balmer, he puts it up from inside the paint and gets it to fall. The number one team in the state was just too much. William Ware will, uh, with the hustle on defense. He is rewarded with a big two-hand slam. Patriots go on to win and move to 13 and 0. Other basketball from today. Cougars continue to dominate, winning by 44. Glenburn wins in Wilton. Grant County Mott Regent wins a tight one. Miners win by 33. And the Tigers beat the Warriors by six. After beginning the year with only one win in its first eight games, Century Hockey is one of the hottest teams in the state. Winners of seven straight, they've catapulted up to second in the West region. Botano Rugby is in town trying to stop that streak. Century really peppered the opposing goaltender early. Six minutes in, they get, a, they get one through. From the point, it finds its way through for the first score. Andrew Brubachin gets the credit. Just three minutes later, Max and Vig works around the zone. No one steps up. He gets a shot. It finds the back of the net unassisted. They go up 2 nothing. Then check out the defense from Vig. Braves just slicing through the zone and boom. Bodies a man off the puck. 4-1 the final. Century wins their eighth straight game. In girls hockey, Dickinson falls by four. Williston outlasts Jamestown. Mandan tops Grand Forks in overtime. Minot falls to Davies. Legacy boys wrestling beats a really good St. Mary's squad by 10. Boys swimming out in West Fargo. Minot and Century take the top two spots. Williston finishes fifth. Jamestown in seventh. In Dickinson, they win their home meet. Century, Legacy, Mandan, and BHS finish second through fifth. In women's basketball, Hawks top the Bison, Comets, Comets beat the Blue Hawks, and the Umary men fall in St. Paul. A lot of the boys' basketball and men's basketball games are happening right now. We will have those scores later tonight. Yes, we will. High school is always so exciting to watch, high intensity. We'll be right back after the break.